My name is Jason Vogel and I'm the Extension Stormwater Specialist in the Department of Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering here at OSU. And today we're going to talk a little bit about water quality. So why do we care about poor water quality? Well, poor water quality is basically when a water body, such as a river or lake, does not meet the beneficial use that has been assigned to it. That may be aquatic habitat, it may be drinking water, it may be navigation, or it may be recreation. Any of those things may be impacted by something getting into the water, and that is usually called a pollutant. So pollution can basically come in two different forms. The first type of pollution is called point source pollution. Point source pollution is when the pollutant comes into the water body from a pipe or some other defined type of a channel. This type of pollution is usually dealt with relatively easily because we have a single place where the pollutant is coming into our water body. The other type of pollution is called non-point source pollution. Non-point source pollution is that pollution that comes diffuse across the landscape, such as runoff from an agricultural field or runoff off of a lawn. That type of pollution is often harder to deal with because it comes in small amounts all across the landscape. Um, a third sort of type of pollution is stormwater, which is kind of a combination between point source pollution and non-point source pollution. It starts off as non-point source pollution, but when we put it into our pipes and culverts and concrete channels, it is actually regulated as a point source pollution because it comes into the stream from a single point. So what are some of the common types of pollutants that we deal with? The first and most common type is actually sediment. Sediment is when soil erodes from the landscape and it moves into our water bodies. This can impair our aquatic habitat by making it harder for fish to reproduce. It also can cause sedimentation into our reservoirs and other drinking water sources such that we don't have the volume that we need in the future for storage and for flood mitigation. So how can we deal with sediment? We can put erosion controls on the landscape. We can also use sedimentation basins that basically allow gravity to remove that sediment out of the water column. The next type of pollutant that we deal with a lot in Oklahoma is nutrients. Nutrients basically comes in two different forms, phosphorus and nitrogen. Both of these come from fertilizer and animal waste, especially as it is applied to the landscape. When these moved off the landscape, they move into the streams and rivers and they cause a process called eutrophication. Eutrophication is basically when algae grow a whole bunch within that water body and then they die, sink to the bottom of the lake, and then as the bacteria in the bottom of the lake degrade that, they also use the oxygen, which depletes the oxygen in the lake or the stream and causes the fish to die. This process um, can be minimized by reducing the amount of nutrients that we have in runoff from our landscape. Another common type of pollutant in Oklahoma is bacteria. Bacteria are pathogens that impair the use of the water for recreational purposes and for drinking water. Bacteria generally come from fecal matter that can come from livestock or from human sources such as, such as septic systems or wastewater treatment plants. So to remove bacteria, we generally want to get the water running across the landscape so it filters out from our vegetation and of our soils. So as you're going about your everyday lives, be thinking about ways that you might be impacting the water quality of our water bodies across Oklahoma. If you need more information about water quality, feel free to contact the Water Center.